of ancestors. It was you who got to be here right now. You were the one chosen to be here right now. Not somebody else. Not those that came before, but you. In a pivotal time on this planet where we as human beings were born into a way of thinking instead of feeling. We were all born into the society knowing um, and we were taught right from wrong. We were taught uh, what to do, what not to do. We were taught how to think our way through. And that's not how it's supposed to be. A very, very, very long time ago before organized religion, we were taught by ancient truths, and I will get into where that came from in a moment, but we were taught to live from our hearts and not our minds. And yet this is what we've been doing for millennia now. It's living from our heads. And we were taught that since birth. How to think out everything. How to base all decisions by the mind. And now we have to change it. We, the people in this room, the people out there, all of us that are here on this planet. Now you know you must be the strongest of the strong. No one else could do it. No one else could come here and switch the universal way of thinking and being if you were not the strongest of the strong. But your great I am's are very, very powerful. And if you truly are God and goddess, you can create anything. The one thing that stops you from creating what you wish to create is your limit of thinking. We must get out of our heads, remember who you are, and start to create. What limits are there to God and Goddess? There are none. No limits. The only limits happening for us are those that we put upon ourselves. We see this world, this dream that is happening, and we think we have to obey exactly how it's going. The truth is, we're going to change it. And the truth is, we're being asked to change it right now. The truth is, for several hundreds of years, the wisdom keepers have been here. And then when they pass, another one becomes the, the wisdom keeper to, to keep the, the prophecies going. But the prophecies have Every single one of them come true but one. There is a list of prophecies that you will find all over the planet from the ancient wisdom keepers. Every single one of them have happened exactly as they said. There's only one left. The only one left is that the light beings, our teachers, those who are higher than us, will return here. And we will know this. This sounds a little phenomenal, I guess, to say light beings are out there. But how crazy of an idea is it? You don't have to be a wisdom keeper to understand we are not alone. It is an actual fact. And there is intelligence out there much vaster and much higher than ourselves. And they come from everything good and beautiful and light and love. And they love us. They love us as their own children. They have been here for a very long time, since the beginning. And with them, they brought truce. They brought with them a way for us to live and to be happy. And they taught us that we are the great I am. They taught us that we are God and goddess. And we remembered who we were. And over a period of time, we forgot. And down the spiral we went. Some stayed. And as wisdom keepers, we know some of the areas in which they have stayed, which makes the government very uncomfortable. The reason they stayed, they stayed to keep us from destroying everything. But I want to tell you now that last year I was sitting here saying, this is going to happen. 
Today I sit here and say, it is happening. It is happening right now. And within this year, it will be global knowledge that it is happening. Within the year, it will be common knowledge and proven to you. It is an absolute truth. 2010 will be the most extraordinary year ever to have happened on our planet. You will see things that you could not possibly imagine. And I'm going to be very happy to share with you several of these things. It is not easy to be a wisdom keeper because you have to say things like this to people and just pray that they're going to believe you because <laughs> otherwise they're going to put you in a home somewhere. <laughs> but I do find courage in knowing that the other wisdom keepers and I can talk together and give each other courage and say it's going to be okay. I carry the wisdom for nine pipes. He was a wisdom keeper that lived many hundreds of years, a couple hundred years ago. I am of the lineage of Spotted Owl. I am Chikala Uchi. I am a little grandmother. I am great granddaughter of Chikala Lota and Chikala Jensen. I am daughter of Tintan Chala and Father Mato. Now I'm proud to sit here today and say that I am a wisdom keeper and that sometimes I'm able to swallow my fear so that I could do things like this. So if we understand that first the wisdom keepers were asked in 2008 to understand that our ancestors had ancient truths, that they were all once here, and then we were asked to please understand and remember who you are, that you are the great I am, you are Togashila. You are love and light and everything that is possible. 2010 has brought a new calling for us to talk about. So I say to you now that what we are asked to talk to you about is for that, yes, now you remember who you are. And if you don't, get on it. <laughs> it is past time. But now that you know you are God and Goddess, unify ourselves and create the world you wish to live in. This is the overriding message of the year, and this is what we will be talking about all over every nation, over 143 countries and over 8 billion people. We will be teaching and saying this everywhere and to everyone. Remember who you are, now, create knowing that thought, your thoughts, your dreams, your daydreams, your wishes, your wants, the goodness in you can bring forth and manifest. You are your own creator. You are God and goddess. Start creating. Set the mind down. Think of what you want and make it happen. You will see that you can bring into your reality all that you wish to create this year. It is going to happen, and I will explain how. Many of the wisdom keepers see things in a very unique way. I like to call it my picture show. If any of you know me well, I call it my picture show. I see something happen. I can connect in to other wisdom keepers. It looks like a large TV screen, something maybe like this. Images start to happen. We can see each other, the other wisdom keepers. We, um, I don't know how to explain it. I don't have the words. But I know that... I was taught a very specific lesson on how this unification is going to happen, and so I want to share this with you so that you can understand it as well. 
we've all been fishing. So if you can 